wonder how many people actually like fluff their hair before filming. I bet a lot. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, this is my husband Mauricio and my daughter Melina. She's six. Today we're talking about sinking funds and how you know which ones you need. This is a big question that I had when I first started. I mean, legit, when I first started talking with Mauricio about sinking funds, I had like 16 of them. Yeah, it was gonna be like $2,000 a month we were putting to sinking funds. We ultimately settled on six sinking funds and then added two more later that came up as absolute necessity. But I'll talk to you about those later. Before I dive in, I wanna talk to you about what sinking funds are and what they're for, because some people may not actually agree with what sinking funds are in my mind. So I got this message from Sarah Mitchell on one of my videos, you know, the one I did on the Dave Ramsey terminology, and she said that I printed this way too small and I cannot read it. Of course, sinking funds are another term that no one really gets, even if they think they do. Everyone thinks it's just a saving account for things that are gonna happen, but it's actually a specific dollar amount with a specific due date. And then Sarah quotes, one of Dave Ramsey's blog sites. So I went to the article that she mentioned and I'm gonna put a link to it down below, but do me a favor, right click open in a new window because YouTube really punishes videos that send you off the platform. So if you could open it in another window, that'd be awesome. The article is titled, Stop the Panic with Sinking Funds. Good name. And it discusses the various reasons why you should have sinking funds. You know what I love about this article is at the top, it tells you how long that it's gonna take you to read it. Like, I might not read the whole article if it's gonna take seven minutes, but I'll definitely read it if it only takes four. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. So I wanted to read this paragraph to you. A sinking fund is also different from an emergency fund because an emergency fund is money set aside for the unknown. With an emergency fund, you might save $10,000 for a Murphy visit and a year later get into a car wreck. You had no way of knowing the accident was coming or when it would happen but you have the money set aside for this life event. With a sinking fund, you know what the money is for and you know about when you are gonna use it. And please note, it says about. That doesn't mean you have to know the exact date. And then he actually uses this example. If you wanna buy a $6,000 car and are saving $500 a month in a sinking fund, you know that you'll use that money in one year and you know when you'll use it. The sinking fund is for the known. The emergency fund is for the unknown. So by that definition, a sinking fund, you know about how much you need and about when you're going to use it. Do you have to have a very specific date in mind? No, but knowing more or less, is the way to go. And that means every single one of your sinking funds should have a finite limit. So knowing that, how do you decide which sinking funds you need? Think about the following things. What huge annual expenses do you have that cause you panic every time you think about them? Maybe your car insurance or your life insurance is an annual payment and it's huge. Things that you see coming imminently down the road and you know they're gonna be super expensive. Or maybe there's something that you can get a major discount on if you pay in one lump sum. Like for us, with summer camp, we paid for it back in February and we got over a thousand dollar discount. It was like 30% of the total fee. Now this one may go against the definition slightly, but bear with me, I have logic. You're in baby step two and there is a major potential for an expense, and you wanna be prepared in case it happens. Now, normally it would be something that you would put an emergency fund toward, but if you're in baby step two for four years, like Mauricio and I are, the likelihood of this event happening during that four years is pretty high. By preparing for it, you are preventing danger. So in our particular scenario, it is our emergency trip to Columbia sinking fund. Why? Because a trip to Columbia is going to cost us anywhere from three to $5,000. And Mauricio has family members in his family that are in their 90s. People that if they pass, Mauricio is gonna to wanna to be there 
for his family. So while that particular one doesn't necessarily fit Dave Ramsey's definition, we have it because it's smart and it's what we need to have. So which sinking funds did we pick? Our medical sinking fund is annual. It is $1,800 and what it encompasses is our $750 deductible at the beginning of every year and then the rest of the money for my neck injections, which I get every three months and are about $300 out of whack. This is a continuous one that is constantly being funded because as I fund it, I'm pulling money out as I'm funding it. So it never really grows very large. We just need it to be $750 at the end of December. So when January starts, we have all the money in the account ready to pay our deductible in January. Our car repair replace fund, for now, it is a car repair fund. There are basic repairs that we're gonna need. We need to change tires, we need to change the oil, we need to do basic maintenance on the car, and the car breaks down. So again, this one might, because there's no finite date, might be questionable in Dave's eyes, but again, we're on baby step two. We only have $1,000 it's rare that a car's transmission goes out and you can get it for a thousand dollars. We will probably buy a new car after we're debt free. We're going to try and push all the way through our debt payoff without having to buy a new car, but we do want to have enough in there that should our car die, we can go ahead and purchase a clunker that will get us through till the end of baby step two. And then we have our Christmas sinking fund, which is $100 a month. And everybody knows why you have Christmas sinking fund. You know when you're gonna use it, you know you're gonna need it. So you might as well have it. And then we put $25 a month to miscellaneous school expenses. This one tops out at $500 and it is for use in August and September when we are buying all of those school things for Melina every year. So that one is a perfect sinking fund in Dave Ramsey's eyes. The next sinking fund is summer camp. Right now we have our summer camp sinking fund set up at $100. We actually are gonna need to bump that up. We haven't done it yet, but we have been talking about it a lot. That way next February we can do the same thing by writing a big check for summer camp because we use summer camp not as camp as entertainment but more as a form of care for our daughter while we are working every day. It gives her a lot of variety and different things to experience and we try and do a wide variety of camps every summer. Then we have the work travel expenses which is $100 a month and this is the last month that we will be funding that. That one topped out at $1,000 and we keep that in there as a rolling $1,000 for when I travel or when Mauricio travels for work. We have the money in there so we don't have to dip into our budget while we're traveling and we get reimbursed. So is that one technically a Dave Ramsey one? Probably not, but smart. And then the last one is $100 a month for our anniversary and that was topping out at $1,100 and then we will not be putting any more money to that. Mauricio and I will be married 10 years this summer and we wanted to do something fun. We wanted to do something really big for our 10th year wedding anniversary, but it ain't gonna happen like that. We got two more years on this plan. Some of the sinking funds that I wanted to have that didn't quite make the cut, I wanted to have an insurance sinking fund. I wanted to have a full year of insurance saved up but unfortunately, in order to do that, that involves me paying for my insurance monthly while I'm saving the exact same amount in a sinking fund. So next year I'd have it all saved up and I am not willing to do that during baby step two. But that is something we will be setting up once we're out of debt. The next one was first and last month's rent and our moving expenses. This is gonna be big. It's gonna be probably close to 10 or $11,000 to get first and last month's rent and deposit and moving expenses and get it all done. And the reason we're not saving it is because we're not 100% sure what we're going to do. And so we decided that we would just stop our debt snowball for two months and save it then it would even out in the end, and that's what we're gonna do. Another one was a annual trip to Columbia to visit the in-laws. We decided to push that back to every two years, and then another one was Melina's birthday. 
Lena's birthday ends up being like a thousand dollars every year because we have a big birthday party and lots of gifts and, and instead of saving for it, we've decided we want to try and cut back. So we're not going to save it. And if we decide to spend that much, we're going to have to cash flow it and suffer the consequences. So those sinking funds, which are technically not sinking funds, like for example, the emergency trip to Columbia, what? happens when we get out of baby step two and we start saving our three to six months expenses do we keep that as a sinking fund no because once we get to a point where we have three to six month expenses we can handle emergencies it'll be there just to grab and go so we aren't going to need to have sinking funds for the unknown for now sinking funds for the unknown semi-unknown they're important they're things we have to have. We keep our sinking funds in a Capital One 360 account, and I'll put a link down to that below. I love, love, love it. It allows you to break out each one of your sinking funds and create a name for it. So each one of the sinking funds you see in our spreadsheet, we actually have a corresponding account that says car repair, replace fund, emergency trip to Columbia. So I know at any date exactly how much we have. And in the next two weeks sometime, I'm gonna go over exactly how much we have in each one of our sinking funds. And on this channel, we walk. <laughs> My husband is going to die. <laughs> it's not even funny. Oh. It's a regular thing in the Valencia household. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.